The first setting we're going to adjust is the language. If it's fresh from the factory, this will be the first screen that comes up. If not, press the bottom right button on the control panel. Select English and select Done. Next, we'll set the date and time. We can toggle through the date and time settings. All of this is correct, so we'll turn the dial back to Auto. The zero slot is in the top left position. Slots one through four are for the station modules, and they are numbered accordingly. Next, we'll install the 12 station module in slot one. The light on the station module should turn green and then turn off. If it shows a different color, light, or pattern, you may have a bad module. If so, watch the video on module numbering. Let's return to the module settings. We can see that it is detecting the new module, and it's asking what the numbering configuration should look like. We're currently in module slot one. We have a 12 station module, so it's labeling them one through 12. Next, we'll apply the AC label to the module which will show us which station corresponds to which screw terminal. Select Done to confirm. Let's add another station module. Again, we see the green light turn on, then off. The new module was detected. Select Next. We're instructed to use the AL label. Select Done to confirm. For certain retrofit applications, the wiring might be a little too short to reach all the way up to Terminal 1. If so, we can wire up Terminals 2 and 4 instead of 1 and 2. We simply install the first module here in position number 2. And we install the second module in position number 4. We'll verify the modules work. Everything looks good. Select Next and notice that it's not registering these correctly. Select Done, then turn the dial to Setup. Go down to Advanced Station Settings and select Next. Go down to Module Station Numbering and select Next. The station numbering will now change. Select Next. On the next screen, we can toggle the setup. So now stations 1 through 12 are going to be in Module Slot 2 and stations 13 through 24 are in module slot 4. It's also telling us which labels to install, AC and AX. We'll install those two station numbering labels and then select Done. This screen is asking us to confirm the alternate numbering sequence. Select Next. This caution screen tells us that any programming we already have on the controller will be remapped to the new station numbering. Press and hold Done to confirm these settings.